These days, most internet service providers send out a complimentary router when you sign up to their internet services. However, these routers are limited to what they can do, and that's why third-party routers exist. Today I have the TP-Link Archer C9 in for review, so let's take a look. Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. As I mentioned just before the intro, today I have the TP-Link Archer C9 wireless dual band gigabit router in for review. So first of all, I would just like to thank TP-Link for sending this product out for review. If you've been following my channel over the past 6 months, you might remember I reviewed the TP-Link Archer D7. However, since then, TP-Link have brought in some handy new features. First, let's take a look at the box. As you can see, again, this product is in one of the traditional green style TP-Link boxes. On the front, we have the TP-Link branding, the product name, some of its best features, and a large picture of the router itself. Turning it around, on the right hand side, we have a QR code which you can scan for more information, and beneath this, we have some more top features. On the left hand side, we have the package contents, physical specifications, standards, and security information above an IP v6 ready badge last but not least on the back we have a list of all the most important features a comparison table to show how some of the other archer c model routers compare and a picture of the router showing what each port and button is used for also on the top we have the very familiar tp link 24 hour technical support sticker Opening the box up, we have a tray which pulls out to reveal the router itself in a white bag. A GNU GPL notice, the resource CD, the declaration of conformity, a small TP-Link promotional box, and the all-important quick installation guide. Beneath this, we have the free antennas, an Ethernet cable, and the mains power supply. Moving on, let's take a closer look at the router itself. So the first thing I want to mention is that this router has been constructed very well with its elegant curves and remarkable crafting. It rocks a neat two-tone silver and white design. Straight away you can see we have three antennas. The antennas can be aimed in different directions for flexibility of the network. Also on the bottom of them we have a standard SMA port so if you wanted to expand the range of the network to use in an office or business place you could purchase high gain antennas and connect them up. On top, we have 8 LED indicators which allow you to know what your router is up to at a glance. Firstly, on the right, we have a power indicator light next to two individual indicators for the 2.4 GHz connections on the left and the 5 GHz connections on the right. Then we have the Ethernet connectivity light and the Internet connectivity light. And finally, the WPS indicator, which is Wi-Fi protected setup, which allows you to connect devices to it with the touch of a button and next to that we have the two USB indicators taking a look at the right side of the router we have the USB 3.0 port which is best for connecting up USB flash storage devices for accessing files over the network or the built in FTP server then next to that we have a Wi-Fi on and off button which allows you to quickly toggle the state of the wireless connections Moving around to the back, we have a big vent which helps keep all of the internal components cool. Then beneath this we have a bunch of ports. On the far left we have the USB 2.0 port which is best for connecting up wired printers that you want to be shared over devices connected to the network. Next to that we have the reset slash WPS button which allows you to connect the router to a WPS enabled device with the touch of a button or reset the router to factory settings if you hold down the button for about 5 to 10 seconds. Then we have an internet port which is RJ45 which you would connect up to your modem or another router depending on how you want to set this up. Then we have the four Ethernet ports for connecting up various devices and next to that of course we have the power switch and the power input which you would connect the AC power supply to. The router is very simple to set up. You simply connect an Ethernet cable to the internet port in the back of the router and connect the same cable to a modem if you're setting this up as your primary router. This would be used if you have fiber optic broadband with BT or Virgin Media. Or alternatively, connect the Ethernet port to the internet port in the back of your router and connect the same cable to your existing router or a power line adapter if you're setting this up as a wireless access point. Then connect up the power supply and power on the router. If all goes correctly, the power 2.4GHz 
5 GHz and internet LED indicators on the front of the device should be lit up blue. You can now connect to the router wirelessly using the login details on the rear side of the device, or with a wired connection instead. You will then need to open up a web browser either on your computer, phone or tablet device which is connected to the Archer C9 via Wi-Fi and browse to www.tplinkwifi.net. You will then be greeted by a login page where you will need to type in the default username and password which is admin. After logging in you should be greeted by the setup wizard which is pretty self-explanatory so I'll leave you to do that. On successfully completing the setup you can now browse to tplinkwifi.net anytime you want to tweak any of the settings. You can configure the USB settings, a printer, the guest network, the parental controls and many other things via this control panel. One of the best features is the guest network which allows you to set up a network just for guests such as family and friends who stay over that you don't want to be able to access everything such as certain websites or connected devices. The great thing about this router is that it provides super fast transfer speeds. It comes with the next generation 11AC Wi-Fi standard offering total data transfer speeds up to 1900 megabits per second with 1300 megabits per second over the 5 gigahertz frequency and 600 megabits per second over the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. The router is packed with an ultra-fast 1 GHz dual-core CPU function for fast, stable and responsive connections, which prevents wireless interruptions even when simultaneously processing multiple wireless or wired tasks. This packs a punch when streaming HD content and playing online games at the same time. Most internal and external components come equipped with shield cover to reduce signal interference for more reliable wired connections. Advanced beamforming technology concentrates the Wi-Fi signal towards your Wi-Fi devices, focusing the data transmission to where you need it most. TP-Link's Tether app allows you to view devices connected to your network, kick them off, set parental controls, or configure the guest network. Network management has never been easier. Overall, I think this is a great new product from TP-Link. They have really incorporated some intelligent new features into such an elegant device. If you'd like to purchase this product, I will have the link for this model, which is the C9. It's a cable router for Ethernet connections directly from the modem or from another router. And the D9 model also will be linked below, which is an ADSL plus 2 modem router for phone line connections. Anyway, my name is Sam and you have been watching Speedline Tech TV. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.